Good afternoon to you. I'm meteorologist Holly Strano, and uh, we are keeping you up to date with the thunderstorms that we're tracking for later today. And I know as uh, you're tuning in here and uh, getting this update, you're probably thinking, what? It's beautiful out. But uh, the deal is we are still on track to see some pretty strong to severe storm potential for later this evening. That being said, let's talk weather impact and we'll be keeping you updated throughout the afternoon. Should anything change, I'll update you with those changes right here. But in the meantime, we are still seeing plenty of sunshine across the area. It is warm. It's lovely, right? We get into the evening and as far as the timing of these storms and by timing, I'm talking main line moving through. I will show you an update of what that looks like with the latest data that we've received. But between seven o'clock and midnight ahead of that main line, we could absolutely have a pop up downpour or even thunderstorm. And I'll get into that too. By later tonight, after midnight and beyond, we'll be getting into some clearing and uh, quite a different scenario as we head into your Wednesday. As far as today's severe weather threat, without question, the highest is to our south and west, but we're in it, okay? So there's where the highest threat is. We are included. I would not be surprised if we see a severe thunderstorm watch issued here at some point this afternoon or at the very least as we get closer to this evening. What can we expect from the potential of these severe storms? Damaging winds is the highest, along with hail, along with flooding, and yes, there is the risk of tornadoes. Flooding, something to really take serious because we're gonna be talking about some very heavy rain, and I just did a digital story not too long ago about the uh, dangers of flooding and how it's one of those just, I feel like we all go to tornado and other things first, but uh, maybe revisit that right here on digital as uh, you're looking at this, might be a good refresher. So let's time everything out for you as we fast forward here into the afternoon. So uh, we go hour by hour and this is the view at three. So again, we're seeing the potential of maybe a pop-up shower or thunderstorm west. This would be ahead of the main line. This is four o'clock. So a lot of you are still dry, seeing sunshine, stray shower, downpour, thunderstorm chances can't be ruled out even through five, six o'clock this evening. Then by seven o'clock, we start to see that organized line and moving from west to east. So those of you in Sandusky down through Mansfield by seven o'clock tonight, it looks like the active weather will really start to rev up and we'll continue to see this line progress eastward eight o'clock tonight. We're seeing the line of potential severe weather west side of Cleveland, down in through Medina, and continuing to move eastward. Again, this is the view at nine. So you'll see that uh, we've got widespread rain and storms, and some of these storms could very well be severe at this point, will likely be from the way the dynamics are shaping up. 10 o'clock tonight, we still have numerous showers and thunderstorms. By 11 o'clock, we're most certainly seeing that back edge. Those of you west will be drying out. Or those of you in Ashtabula and areas within Trumbull County, also further south, we'll still be dealing with some pretty intense storms. By midnight, it's looking like it's out of here and we start to clear heading towards tomorrow morning. Rainfall could be upwards of an inch and a half and close to two inches for some of you, especially inland. So we talk about that localized flash flooding that is really a true concern with the storm potential tonight. So something to be well aware of in your plans. There's a lot going on as we get into uh, the forecast at this point. We'll start with the Guardians game, which has uh, that first pitch at 610. We'll be on the watch for thunderstorms at that point in time because we're expecting most of it to hit during the game at this point. So it's going to be one that if uh, you know, you've got the plans to head to the game, Keep up to date with the latest forecast. That is for sure. Same thing goes for anything that you have planned tonight. You know, if your kids have sporting events, it's a big time of year with uh, graduations coming up and all kinds of events for seniors. My daughter being one of them, I get it. So just make sure that uh, you have your weather app handy. As we head through tonight again, showers, thunderstorms, evening storms is what I'm referring it to because after midnight, we really will see conditions improve. 
but there is that potential for strong to severe storms. A reminder to download our news app, our weather app. If you haven't already, this is definitely a day that is a great reminder. If you don't have this as a resource to make sure that you do for future events and uh, today is definitely one of those. So this afternoon, a perfect thing to do for you. And you can always text us weather pictures if it is safe to do. And you have that opportunity to 216-344-3300. You know, bottom line, it's all about being prepared. So as we continue to move through the afternoon, we'll be doing exactly that as we receive new data and information and are able to pass that along to you. So. This is your very early heads up to what can potentially be coming our way this evening and uh, early tonight. Be safe, be smart, download those apps, and we'll be right here keeping you informed starting at 4 o'clock as we see you through the 4, 5, 6, 7, and 11 o'clock shows this evening. Take care.